Tons of you have been asking for us to get in some of Rigid's new offerings. I will let you know that availability is very limited on Rigid's new 28 inch rolling box. The other offering that you've been asking for us to get our hands on isn't available yet at all. It's their new cooler box. As soon as we can get our hands on it, if you want to see it, we will do a full in-depth review. But we searched high and low, and we were lucky enough that one of our local Home Depots, because only 200 of them had them, had the rigid rolling box. So we got it in, we're gonna go over it today. We're gonna to tell you what we think about it. It's all coming right up after this message from our sponsor, BCG Construction. If you wanna help out with the channel, head on over to the merch store. You can get hats, hoodies, t-shirts, stickers. Link will be down below. with this rolling box. A lot of you are asking me, do I think that this is a better option or the 22 inch standard rolling box is the better of the two options? Here's the thing. I don't believe this is an or. I believe it's an and box. Me personally, I wouldn't want to have one without the other. I think they both have their place. If you're a contractor, there's plenty to do with both of those boxes. This box though, definitely does accommodate longer tools. Whether it be sawzalls, whole hogs, levels, this box will accommodate those tools in an easier fashion. Here's the thing, longer tools sometimes to fit in some of the other standard base boxes need to go on the diagonal taking up, eating up a whole bunch of space within the box. That 22 inch wide rolling box, when compared to other base boxes, is pretty doggone cavernous. We had no problem fitting the rigid brushless reciprocating saw in that box. But we have a new option. So number one, if you're wondering if this box is gonna be compatible with the rest of your rigid boxes and rigid system, it's fully compatible. If you already have large toolboxes, organizers, even the, the most sought after crate system, it has a 100 pound weight capacity rating. I feel like that 100 pound weight capacity ratings for this handle here. We do have the standard rigid handle here in the center. This thing is really reinforced well. Now here's the deal. You start piling more than 100 pounds in the box. It's a pretty sturdy box, but how heavy do you want to make it? That's the question, but I feel like this handle will have no problem accommodating 100 pounds or above. We have heavy duty latches out here that have padlock eyes. So you can actually fit a padlock through here or zip ties if you're in a place where you could trust people a little bit more. Just as a deterrent, you could zip tie those shut, padlock them if you want, you have the option, but we all know the deal. Locks are for honest people. Thieves are always gonna find a way to get in. Another standout feature of this box is that it's very narrow. The wheels are inboard here of the box. They're not outside or outboard of the box. So the footprint of the box is literally the footprint of the wheels. You don't have to worry about snagging those wheels on door jams, door frames, things of that nature. This box is IP rated. To be honest with you, I don't really know if it's IP54 or IP65. I would assume it's IP65. It keeps dust and water from infiltrating the box. How well? We gonna find out. And here's the best part about this box. Like we said, you can use this as a standalone box or you can stack a whole bunch of organizers or boxes on top. Now, personally, I probably wouldn't go too high with this, but you know, your stack is your stack. You stack it as high as you want. We have our nice metal latches that actually act as handles. You could actually stack and lock in boxes on top of the rigid mill crate. Can your modular toolbox system do that? We're gonna test that IP gasket. We're gonna see if it's 56, 65, 57, A1. We'll figure it out. We're gonna let that water rain down on the box to simulate you leaving your tools in the box out in the rain.
let's see how we did. We do have a whole bunch of pooling here at the top of the box and back here at the hinges, you'll see there's some pooling in here. I think if, if you were me and I was you, we'd do the same thing. We'd probably, before opening the box, do our best to dump it out, that excess water. Let's open her up and see what type of infiltration, if any, we have. This box did great. I, I think that they definitely should have included an IP65 rating on this box. Maybe it costs extra money to include that IP rating. It's like Bluetooth. If you want to put Bluetooth on your box, you got to pay the Bluetooth people. Maybe they didn't want to pay the IP people. So you get more for your money when you're buying your box instead of certifications. I also want to mention that there is a full lifetime warranty on all of these boxes, which is pretty doggone awesome. Here's a little something we took notice of earlier when it comes to this box. It's this right here. And when you look at it, at first you say to yourself like, it looks almost like an extension cord wrap or maybe like a wire wrap or something. Like what, what is this? What this seems to be is room for expansion in the rigid modular toolbox system line. This looks like a way to latch half organizers in this space. So you'd slip it on, it'd lock in here, and then it would connect and lock down using your metal latches. Pretty cool. And if you like a modular toolbox system that's affordable, cavernous in size and capacities, durable, and growing, then smash the like button. It's free for you to do. And smashing the like button here isn't like smashing a mirror anywhere else on the planet. Here on YouTube, you'll get seven years of good luck. Video's over, but I know you want more. I know a bunch of you that have been here for a while are gonna ask for it anyway. So no test of a modular storage system would be complete without us throwing it off the roof. Smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.